In this video, we're going to be going through how to use Ohm's law in order to solve different equations. And so if you take a look at this example, it tells us that we have 0 0.256 amps of current and the power of a resistor or that's needed to power a resistor with 128 ohms. So how much voltage is needed for this circuit? One of the first things I like to do whenever working with physics problems is organize my information. So 0 0.256 amps, I know immediately that's the current. 0 0.256 amps. And I know that the 128 ohms has to be resistance. So 128 ohms. I know that because of the wording in the question, but also because of the units provided with each of those numbers. The other question is how much voltage is required. So we really don't know the voltage and we need to solve it. In order to do that, we need to look at an equation that includes all of these variables. And so that is going to be Ohm's law, V equals I times R. Now, in this case, we don't need to do any rearranging because we know I, we know R, we're trying to find V, and V is already isolated. So all we have to do is plug our numbers into this equation. So 0 0.256 amps multiplied by 128 ohms. When we actually do this calculation, what we're going to find is that we need 32.768 volts. The other thing we need to keep in mind here, though, is significant figures. This number for current has three significant figures, whereas 128 has three significant figures. That means our final answer also needs to keep one, two, three significant figures. So our final answer here is going to be 32.8 volts for three significant figures and rounding up because of the digit behind our last significant figure. So you can see it's actually not that bad. So let's try another example in order to help us. So in our next example here, we are given the voltage, we're given the resistance, and we're asked how much current is needed to power uh, this fan that's using 110 volts and requires 147.5 ohms. So same thing as before, let's organize our information. So we know that our voltage is 110.0 volts. If we wanna think sig figs right away, you should already realize we're dealing with four sig figs. That's why that zero at the end is important. This isn't like math class where you can just pretend like there's no decimal places. We actually gotta, gotta keep those here in science. Resistance, we know is 147 ohm, or 147.5 ohms. And again, read the question carefully. You can see um, the, the unit gives away what value we're actually dealing with. And again, you have four significant figures. The question really here is what is the current? So what is I? So what that means is we're gonna be using Ohm's law, V equals I times R, because those are the variables we've been given. But we need to isolate I. In physics, it tends to be done so that you actually solve for the value, you rearrange your equation first, plug your numbers in after so that you can do some canceling and things like that with more complex equations, but here, I know it's not super complex, but we should probably get in that habit early on anyway. So we wanna isolate I. And in order to do that, let's look at the operation that's being done to I. I is being multiplied by. So to isolate I, we need to do the opposite operation. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. And then it's being multiplied by R. So we're gonna do the same. We're gonna divide by R. The only thing is you have this equal sign, which literally means what's on the left-hand side of that sign needs to be exactly the same as, what, as what's on the right-hand side. And by making this change, it's no longer the same. But if we do the exact same thing on the other side, it has to be exactly the same. Now, whenever you have something divided by itself, that actually is always one. You know, one divided by one, that's one. Two divided by two, it's one. 10 divided by 10 is one. A million divided by a million, one. R divided by R, that's one. 
And what's anything multiplied by one? Well, it's just itself. So 10 divided by, or 10 multiplied by one is 10. I multiplied by one is I. So you often see teachers cancel this out. And that's actually what they're saying. When they're crossing this out, they're saying, dividing that is gonna be equal to one. And anything multiplied by one is itself. So I can just get rid of that thing. But on the other side, we can't do any canceling because we have V divided by R. So that's actually what our equation comes out to be. The current is the same as V divided by R. And now that current is isolated, we can actually plug in our values for it. So 110.0 volts divided by 147.5 ohms. When you actually do this calculation, you can calculate I, and what you find is that I is 0 0.74576, so on and so on. We need four significant figures. So what that means is we're gonna keep the seven, the four, the five, and the seven, and then we're gonna to have to round the units also we need to include, those are amps because it's a current. So 0 0.7458 amps. So you can see there how we actually solve when we don't know current. We have to do a little bit more work in the rearranging, but overall, it's not too bad. So let's take a look at our last example. So in our last example, we are given a circuit uh, that's powered using a battery that, that has 1.47 volts of electricity. And there's an ammeter, so that measures amps that shows the flow of electrons to be 0 0.119 amps. What is the resistance? So as we do this, as always, organize your information. So we have 1.47 volts of electricity. We have 0 0.119 amps of current. And if we're thinking sig figs, three sig figs, three sig figs, we know that we're gonna end up using Ohm's law based on the variables we've been given. And so we're gonna have three sig figs in our final answer. We are trying to solve the resistance because that's literally what it says in the question is what is the resistance? So based on V, I, and R being the variables that we have, we need to use Ohm's law. And we need to rearrange this time in order to solve for R, so we need to isolate R. So again, look at the operation being done to R, it's being multiplied by. So do the opposite operation, that's dividing. It's being multiplied by I, so divide by I. And to keep it equal, if you do it on one side, do it on the other. I divided by I, well that's one, and anything multiplied by one is itself, so that's gonna cancel. What I have left is R, is equal to V divided by I. So in order to solve this, V is 1.47 volts. So let's plug that in on the top, 1.47 volts, divided by amps, 0 0.119 amps. The resistance is going to be 12.35 four, one, and I'm just gonna move this because I need my units, it's going to be in ohms. And so we need to round this to three significant figures. So we're gonna keep the one, the two, and the three. We're gonna round off after that. So we get one or 12.4 ohms. And that is our final answer. Oh, I should extend that out. And so you can see we can actually rearrange to solve for any of these things as long as we're dealing with Ohm's law. And um, that's all you need to do in order to solve those questions. So thanks for watching.